Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. It's going to be a quick video. We're just going to do a quick honey check and see where we're at. Uh, see how they're doing as far as honey stores in these supers. So it's uh, May 27th and we had a week of rain and it's been kind of chilly, but today they had a good forage day. We've had uh, before that some really good forage days. We have had uh, some periods of pretty high winds, really high winds. April was that way. But May was, you know, we still had wind, but it wasn't too bad. So I think we've had uh, a share of pretty good uh, forage days. And these hives here are pretty strong. This one, uh, when I was checking it for swarm cells, these two supers here, they felt like they were probably about two thirds full at that time. And that was, uh, I think the second week of May, first week of May, somewhere in there. So I threw this third one on there. So they may not have touched this one yet, but uh, let's check them out and see how much honey we have and see what it looks like. Uh, just for the record, I've never had a hive that has filled three supers. I've had them do like two and a half, but I've never had them do fill three supers completely. There's quite a few bees up in here for being three tall. It's pretty late in the evening. The sun is about to set. So we're going to have a full hive of bees. And first glance, it doesn't look like they're doing much with this top one. I think I had undrawn frames up here. There's a few bees just right there in the center. Yeah, see, so it looks like they may be working right in here just a little bit. But these others, I don't think there's anything up here. I'll pull one of these up just to see if they're drawing it out. Yeah, so they're starting to draw it out. And they're doing it kind of wonky, so it tells me these frames aren't very well waxed. The, the foundation's not. Usually I run wax foundation in my honey supers, but I had some plastic foundation I, I used. And I usually wax coat my foundation, so I'm not sure what's happening there, but they're bridging it across on that that one frame right there. And yeah, I can see them doing it on two of them. I think this is full. You know, I might give them another super that is uh, drawn comb because they're just going to foul that up. I might grab one that's that's weak. Yeah, look at this. I'll pull a couple frames out. I'll pull some out here on the edges because they feel those last. So we'll see what it looks like. But yeah, that's a that's a full honey super. I bet you. Get one out here on the edge. Hopefully we don't tear it up too much. So yeah, it's full uncapped. This is a strong hive. And uh, they had no swarm cells. Or they, they, they had some cups, but they weren't using them. So I just went ahead and tore them down. So yeah, this hive is not swarmed. I hate to set that other one back down on here. I'm not even going to go into the one below. So if this one's full, that other one probably is. 
try and clean this up some. I'm going to see if I can find me an empty super or a fairly empty one. Pull it off a weak hive and give it to this hive that's got some strength. And I'm going to shake all these bees out of here. There's not a lot in here. That got most of them out. I'm just going to put the lid on this for now and I will find us another super later. But let's let's check this hive here next. Looks like it's going to be a good honey year. Last year was not very good. It was half. Less than half of what I had the prior year. So we had uh, really bad cold winter. And when spring got here and it was nectar flow time, it would it rained and rained and rained. So it looks to me they've drawn out one and these others they haven't touched. Well, this one is a little. Again, I'm running into this. I need to get rid of this plastic frames in this uh, for my honey supers. Or get a good coat of wax on them. Well, that one's being drawn okay. It's not wonky. Ooh, that's heavy. So this is a, is that a plastic frame? I can't tell. So it's, it's mainly full except down there in the bottom middle. And that's like, on this side, it looks like it's drone comb. It's real big. So maybe they're waiting for the queen to come up here and lay some drones. Well, the one next to it, they seem to be drawn out okay. So, I think we're all right. I'll show you what. Uh, so this is wax foundation. One that I've had for a long time. See how they eat holes in that? I believe they'll fill that in though. If they get enough nectar coming in, they'll, they'll draw that right on out. So they're working on this box. I think the one below is full. Get these put back in. I don't have my little metal spacers in this one, so I just eyeballed it. So I space them out with uh, nine frames. And that works a lot better when you go to uh, extract your, or uncap it with a hot knife. They're, they, they're stuck out perfect when you run nine frames and they draw them out like that. All right, let's get this one off of here. Yeah, that it's full. Here's what we're looking at. When you see those white edges up at the top, most of the time, when you see all that white, you know, you know it's all drawn out at that point. It's just whether or not, is, is it full or not. We'll pull out a couple frames, or one or two. Pull out one of these over here on the edge. Normally they will fill these from the, the inside out. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. 
So this is completely full. It's just not capped yet. And this is about a third capped. Good deal. Well, we know we've got three boxes of honey <laughs> at the least. I probably got, I don't know, 20, 25 supers out, but you know, they're not on all strong hives like this one. This is a go-getter. In fact, when I uh, inspected this one for the swarm cells is when I added this super. The stronger one here, I put two supers on it right off the bat. It was so strong. And then when I inspected it, that's when I added that third. Yeah, so these, these look great. Uh, I'm going to go look at some of these other that I have two on, a, a double, and see maybe if the top one has not got much in it, and I'm going to put it right here. Yes, yeah, so I come over here to uh, 516, and uh, it's not touched this second one, and it's all drawn nice comb. So I smoked the bees down that were up here, and uh, we're going to get it over here and uh, get it on hive number seven there. Okay, yeah, that hive wasn't using this at all, and the super below it there's not hardly any bees in that so i got to go inspect that hive and see what's up with that so uh, it may be queenless or it may have swarmed who knows who knows what yeah man this hive here is kicking it you don't want to pump a lot of smoke into your honey supers, especially if you got a lot of uh, uncapped, or you'll have smoky honey. Honey absorbs just about anything, everything. There might be a dozen bees or so left in this from the uh, other hive over there, but they will be assimilated. Yeah, so that's going to give these bees a lot more space to put nectar in without having to draw any comb out. So maybe we'll get three supers out of this hive here. The way they were going, they were going to build that cross comb in that super, and that would have just been a nightmare. So I'm glad I caught that before they got too far along. I'll take that back up to the barn, take it apart, and uh, coat those frames or the... Uh, foundation with some wax and uh, so they'll draw that out next time we won't do that till next year though we're pretty well set this year on where we're putting honey supers and all that because our flow kind of starts ramping down into may and through june and you know in july there's just a trickle of stuff coming in and uh, then you get into your dearth period in august to September and you're getting ready for fall and, and getting them into winter yeah so things look good just a quick honey check there so if these two are an indication of what's going on uh, we're gonna have us a good honey crop uh, so something else so the hive over there that is weak now and had two honey supers on it that's an indication we need to start checking these other hives with supers and make sure they're not failing because that does happen. You may have a strong hive, and uh, if there's not a laying queen in there, giving them uh, plenty of workforce, they're not going to do anything, and it's just going to fail. So you got to keep an eye out for those. And we're getting into the wax moth season, so we're getting farther into the season, and the wax moths get worse. And if you have a weak hive, wax moths will get in there, and they'll just eat your hive up. So wax moths don't make your hive fail. Your hive fails and then it gets full of wax moths. So uh, I see posts often on Facebook and places, uh, these wax moths attacked my hive and killed it. No, you had a problem before that. So boy, I got some angry bees here. 
Well, let me get that buttoned up and we're going to end this video. I hope it was uh, good. Give me a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.